Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's take some vegan cheeses and pair them with the just sampled vegan meats to see if serendipity will ensue. But first, don't freak out, but our cooking class was canceled. And don't freak out, but uh, it was gonna be a naked cooking class. That's right, so we're just gonna extend the wine tour. Uh, make sure you, you, you get one of those earth cruisers uh, we're gonna be, because we won't, we don't wanna drive, we're gonna be biking. We're gonna be biking through the hills of Santa Barbara while completely hammered. Uh, don't freak we've, out. We've got helmets, but don't worry, the cooking class was canceled. And you know what? Let's still get naked because that's a great way to ride a bike. Are you implying that you were doing a cooking class on I tour? I don't know. I really don't well, know, okay. It was confusing. Yeah. I was confused by that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not freaking out, though. Yeah, don't freak out. You ever been on a wine tour in Santa Barbara? I, I have I not. I would like to when I've, it is safe to do so. I've been on a wine, like a wine tasting thing in Malibu, at the Malibu mm. Farms or whatever. Malibu, Maybe, um, Malibu Wines. I Malibu feel like Santa Monica, wines. I mean, sorry, Santa Barbara would be a great place for a camping trip. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. But then the whole thing is if we get hammered and then yeah. you're waiting for us to... Well, that's true. Right. Yeah. I don't know how many camping camping uh, places there are. Oh, this is... It's interesting how this smoked Gouda, the slices are... It's sliced down the middle. Here's a slice of... Uh, or maybe that's just that one. Smoked provolone oh. for you. Now, I would put the provolone with the salami, most likely, is what I would do if I was just hanging out. There's some gouda. Like I do. Ready to go. I do not think that those, um, what's that brand on Link's side? The cheese? I ate those Follow for a while heart. when I was doing the paleo thing. They're not bad. They, they, I feel like they do the trick for... This, what they're trying to substitute. We've ta we've tasted the that yeah. smoked provolone right there, Link. I gave you. Oh, so you, and you're, you're suggesting I tried it with that the salami, with the... just because it's like you know the Italian situation. I mean, if you even if you just go ham and provolone, that's that's pretty 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 basic situation here. And then you're gonna do a roll. You do the roll up. Well, I didn't, but I might next time. Sounds pretty tempting. You so you did the the follow your heart. That's what you said, Stevie. Yeah, because it's well. Also, it, it melts. It melts quite well. It 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 is fine. You do you can do a quesadilla or a grilled cheese with it, and you you're not overly disappointed. Now the, this is what we liked the most when we did the yeah. Uh, I was going to say, test. Stevie, when we did our test, we didn't we didn't love the follow your heart. If we uh, I can't, well, I did say we it was it. fine, but yeah, I'm going to do. I really liked this field and roast. Chow slices. What do you put it with? Bologna, because creamy. Ooh, that is good. That's what I used to do. Yeah, back in the day. Oh, it's kind of they kind of cancel each other out a little bit. I think I'm gonna. I think I can do some pepperoni in, in some of this. Yeah, you it's can do like whatever you want. Cause, so they don't say it's a certain. It's chow tofu. Product of Greece, creamy original. Chow is the is the like line of cheeses from Field Roast. That's what they call it. But creamy original, so it's just original cheese flavor. Now, this is a block of cheese, Link. It doesn't. It doesn't really go with that pepperoni. I don't know what I was. What I was doesn't thinking. this kind of make you want to be a vegan? Uh, no, because I just tasted all of it. Can I have the that I've. Uh, there are a few of them. I no. mean, the, the cheese go is a lot better than the. Uh, but like, it doesn't meats. make you think you could. You could. No, I actually, I actually think about it more often than you might think. I, I think about it too. Chicken, chicken is the problem because you you've got the Impossible Burger, you've yeah. got this suite of deli meat situation. There are there are some some decent vegan. Chick ground chicken situations. You know, KFC was doing that Beyond Chicken thing for a beat, which looked. What happened to that? I didn't remember. I don't really remember good. that. 
they like rolled it out at a couple of locations and then it, they sold out really quickly. But again, that's like yeah. ground chicken that's fried. Yeah. You can't be eating that every day. What is this again? This well, is and jalapeno Havarti and pepperoni. I'm sure as many of the vegans uh, who, are, who are watching and commenting might point out, this is all very highly processed, right? So processed food, whether it's vegan or not, is not something you wanna be eating on a super regular basis. So if you just cut out, like if you were doing like a paleo thing where you, you were eating whole foods and lean meats, from a health perspective, that's probably gonna be healthier than just, go, just going vegan and just saying, I'm gonna eat whatever it is as long as it's vegan. Mm. Uh, you wanna limit your processed food in general, but I do feel like deli meat isn't good enough to me to warrant the effects that it has. Right. Both on me personally and the environment. I, could I can just, when I can substitute this stuff for the times I'm gonna do it. Oh, I thought you were just gonna say you could give up deli meat and not miss it in your life. That, that's, well, that, that, that's where I'm at. Well, that too. Yeah, well, you seem like it's been a big part of your life. It, what, I, but I feel like I've had enough. Oh, you're over it. I, I feel like I've just, I've eaten it enough. This is th this really works, yeah. If you if you if you limit yourself, you know, a, as with a lot of art, you know, limitations create opportunities. Innovations. You, know? you got yeah. You got you got, you know. Necessity is the mother of some some, some kids. Some kids. <clears throat> hey, that smoked provolone. Yeah. With the roast beef. Somehow that worked. All of these cheeses are saving the meats. That is that is what's happening. But I, something about it smoke, makes it work. I, the only thing I like this that with a smoked flavor is meat, real meats. I don't like smoked cheeses and I don't like smoked drinks. Mm. Smoked and I know you drinks. Yeah, like a, or like a smoky smoky flavor. Like a mezcal. Yeah, you know I don't like that. Or like a scotch that's got a real smoky, peaty Scotched. flavor. Um, well, I have to disagree with you on that. I, I like um, I like a real smoky drink. That's yeah, I like a smoked Gouda. A smoked Gouda cheese, man. Woo. Maybe it has something to do with your beard. Mm -hmm. How do you get, you, you oil that thing? <laughs> Stevie. These cheese these though. cheeses are these cheeses are good. You might be wondering, you know, how I get my beard to be so supple. And it's a combination of things. Uh, we've got mythical beard oil, which, you know, new packaging, same formula, same award winning formula. I do think there was actually a, like a website that said it was the best uh, beard balm in a certain category. I don't know. Uh, sure. It's still great. It's still really good. But it has basically, it's just for the sake of moisturizing, right? Mm. Uh, but the Mythical Beard Balm is got the same sort of profile, but we've added some beeswax in there so it actually has a sort of sculpting element to it. Is it you weren't able to find find that? Mythical.com? There was. Can I have some? Get it. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. It's green. Yeah, it's a, it's just made just for you, Leprechaun oh, Chase. It's perfect for my beard. Oh, you gonna put that on your beard? Oh, That's yeah, a good yeah. idea. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah, even on even oh, <laughs> even on a too. totally fake beard. This, this is real. So <laughs> this is real. What are you saying? <laughs> this is real. He says. He just ripped it off. Wow. <laughs> um. I don't mean to be crude here, but but go ahead and do it. How how are our poots gonna be later? Mm, yeah. Are we gonna be having some yeah some like, You're gonna like be blaming dis the dogs disturbingly f floral poots like plant poots? Not good. Have you ever eaten too much vegetables? It doesn't smell like smell plants. floral. Doesn't smell like plants. The other night I had. Um, this meal that had a fake polenta that was made from cauliflower. 
and it was really good, and oh, I ate a lot of it. And then, but Jesse also got this roasted cauliflower that came from the same place, and I ate more than half of like the container of that. And talk about biological weapons. Oh, really? Yeah, I could have cleared out like a whole elementary school gym. It's like an auditorium. Oh, I got really bad gas. I gotta go to the local elementary school. Why would you do that? I'm just trying to put it into perspective. You could clear out an elementary school. I could get like half of it the It already kids. stinks at an elementary school. Did yeah. everyone leave your house? No, I went to the garage. <laughs> I go to the garage for things like that. And then warn people, don't enter for a while. Sometimes I'll go, because we've kind of turned the garage into a little bit of a gym. A little bit, a little bit of a gym, and, um, if I do, if I do Go, so. go in there, and I'll go in there, and here's the thing, when you go work out at the gym like we used to do, like going to a gym with people, everyone in that gym is holding in their farts. When you work out in your garage, yeah, you are just letting it rip, and there's nothing like letting it rip in the middle of a rep. And you would never do that, but like I think that there's something therapeutic about it, like ripping and repping. Like I'll sometimes I'll hold it and then like go for a personal record and just <laughs> just get a little. It, uh, that will give you like a boost. Yeah, you, you lift a little, you shake a little bit. Yeah, you can't do that at Equinox, <laughs> so I'm not going back. Hmm. Hmm. Have we made any discoveries here? Are you just eating cheese and, and All meat? the cheese is good. They all kind of taste. And it helps the meat along. With the cheese, even the meats that aren't that great kind of become something that, if you were to put this on a sandwich with a little mustard, a little mayo. Yeah, I think it would. I think you could have a ball. And then just go work out and fart all over the place. Who cares? You know, I think they should be, like people who do home equipment, they, that should be a selling point. That should be the main thing. Like, like even call it like- Fart rep? The Farter 2000, you mm -hmm. know? Just kinda, you know? I could do a video. Pop a squat and drop a rock. There's nothing like farting in the middle of a squat. But the first it's time risky, you man. do it, the first time you do it, you think you broke something. Uh, and you, Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, you give a little bit. But then when you realize that it does provide thrusting power to get it back up, um, it's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna partner with Billy Blanks and we're gonna make a little video. Billy shooting blanks. <laughs> butt blanks. It's me and Billy Blanks. I think that's what a fart is. Well, it's it, a butt blank. But I think it's Billy, I think what a fart that's a blank makes a lot of noise but doesn't stink? Is that how he got his name? A butt blank is a fart. It's when your butt sounds like it's shooting a projectile but nothing comes out. You mean when poop doesn't come out? Yeah. So but just short of a shark. Or a squad. As when, when my, when Lincoln was a little, when he was little, he invented this term. He would say. Well like, squad is a word. <laughs> he invented a term for shark because we didn't tell him that shark was a word. And he was like, uh, I did a little squad. <laughs> it does sound. It's when he, it's when it he does poop, sound like poop his pants a little bit. He would say, "I did a squad." Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, he, it sounds like it's descriptive of like a little a little poop that you didn't expect to come out. It's just a little squad. Maybe he was squatting at the time. Yeah. Well, that would have helped. I don't know. Do a little. You might do a little squad when you're uh, squatting. When you're squatting. Yeah. Shoot a little butt blank, or you could go into squad territory. But the thing is, is I wouldn't, I would just keep working out, because I'm just in there by myself. I'd be like, I'm just gonna work, worry about this later. Sit on, sit on the bench, man. That's nasty. Yeah. Boy, this is really, it's turned into this is what way. we talk about when we eat. We have meat and cheese. Anybody who was turned on to meat and cheese a second ago is left. Our grooming collection is growing. Shop the expanded Mythical Grooming Collection now at mythical.com.